الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم My dear sweet Islamic brothers and viewers let's recite the rudan salam Assalatu wassalamu alayki ya Rasulullah Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Habiballah Assalatu wassalamu alayki ya Nabiyallah Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Nurullah Excellence of conveying the Rudan Salam the believing Muslim that recites three times through the park salutations upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and three times in the evening inshallah azza wa jal Allah azza wa jal will forgive the minor sins he committed that day try to make it a habit alhamdulillah in the form of dars we have morning dars we have evening dars and when you in a gathering in a congregation you get the opportunity to recite through the park and alhamdulillah by the will of Allah azza wa jal by the fadl of Allah azza wa jal your sins are being waived at the same time sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam today's topic inshallah the manners of eating page 129 in fazani sunnah excellence of eating together before I mentioned this, first of all, I'd like to give some advice. Neetul mu'mini khayrum min amali, the intention of a believer is better than his action. And we've heard the scholars, alhamdulillah, saying that there'll be a group of people who will enter paradise and they will question Allah Azza wa Jal, metaphorically, that how have we attained paradise? We did not perform much actions. But because they used to make good intentions. So inshallah, if you make good intentions, for example, if you are going to shopping and you are buying some stock for home, like food, whether it is a drink, whether it is some fruit, but you make the intention, I am buying this so a guest will come into my house and I will serve him. And we see the example of Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam how he would honor the guests, he would eat with them. And inshallah, if you make this mindset, inshallah, we will have increase in our sustenance when we do this. So, Alhamdulillah Azza wa Jal. Let's listen to this parable. There are glad tidings for those who eat sitting together at a dining mat. Why is the dining mat? It's one of a cloth that you put down on the floor. It's not the dining tables that we have without, with chairs. So, sitting on the floor. Sayyidina Anas bin Malik radiyallahu ta'ala anhu has narrated when Allah azza wa jal metaphorically sees a Muslim eating at a dining mat sitting along with his wife and children he azza wa jal is pleased by this action and the most because when they sit together to eat Allah azza wa jal sees them with his mercy and forgives them before they separate so alhamdulillah I've offered this advice before. Many children, when we have our children sitting together in the dining mat, they may have some problems. And obviously they like to share their problems with their father or mother. And when you're eating together, many problems they mention and the father, he gives a solution to that problem. So whenever you're at home, make the intention or whatever food that you bring from outside is to sit there. You know, and call your family and do not start eating before you recite the invocations, Bismillah, or the dua for eating. And inshallah, you'll see blessings and you'll see muhabba, you'll see love. And this is why we're having these problems nowadays that we are far away from the sunnah of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And when we follow this, the, the great examples of the companions and the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you will see harmony and peace in your household. I remember I went to someone's house and the father said, the, the sister eats in her own room, the son reads in a, he eats in his own room. And there is, they don't talk to each other. 
They'll cook their foods in separate times and they will eat separate times. How can I talk to them? I said, do you eat together? He goes, no, how can I get them down to eat together if they're eating separate in the rooms? So we're having situations like this as well. So it's important we educate our children uh, with these hadith of the Bill of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And may Allah give us the ability to make good intentions insha'Allah. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala sayyid al-mursaleen. Jazallahu anna Muhammad al-mahu ahlu. Ya Allah azawajal, today we have learned in eating together on a dining mat. Ya Allah azawajal, give us love and harmony in our household. Give us the ability to invite guests. Ya Allah azawajal, to feed the guests and to attain reward. Ya Allah azawajal, enlighten our hearts with the nur of Islam, the nur of Quran, the nur of knowledge. Ya Allah azawajal, and give us true amal of the deen. Ya Allah azawajal, bless this gathering, accept the duas of the majlis, accept the duas of our brother Tariq. Ya Allah azawajal, grant him uh, success and take away his knee pain. Ya Allah grant Aji Nazim's son a high place in paradise. Remove any torment in the grave. Ya Allah give him re relief from the torment of the grave and the fire of hell and give him entry into paradise. Ya Allah Zawajal, our brother Ibrar Bai, give him good health. Ya Allah grant him shifa and ajila. Give him more strength. Ya Allah to overcome his problems. Ya Allah brother Hanif, Ya Allah Zawajal, take away any calamities, any problems and cure his son's uh, illnesses. Ya Allah, give him shifa and ajila. Ya Allah, brothers at the back and our buzurgs, Ya Allah, accept this sincere dua and accept this dars. If I made any mistakes, Ya Allah, forgive me. Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun, wa salamun ala al-mursaleen, walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.